Hey, welcome back to my jungle room. So, I love ferns. Um, I have lots of varieties. Um, yeah, I used to live in Vancouver, British Columbia. Um, so it's pretty much a rainforest. And you literally walk outside your front door and you can see a fern. So that got me into ferns. Um, I used to live in Vancouver maybe 10 years ago. And ever since then, I'm obsessed with ferns. So if I ever see a fern, uh, for sale, I uh, usually buy it. And now I'm gonna show you some of my bird's nest ferns. Um, this is the first one I got um, uh, maybe a year ago or so. It's seen better days. Um, it kind of got neglected over the summertime, um, having kids and then COVID and all that stuff. Um, but he seems to be doing okay now. I just recently rescued a whole bunch more um, on Facebook. This one um, doesn't look that happy. A lot of the fronds are fairly crispy. I think this one just dried out a bit. Um, but yeah, these guys, um, they all live um, in my living room. So they get uh, north facing light. Uh, the humidity in there is relatively high. Um, so yeah, I keep them keep the soil semi moist. Um, I, I never water the middle of plants, so like the, right in the center. I never put water in there, because you can risk um, rot. So I just water the outside, keep it relatively even. Um, yeah, these plants are actually, um, in their natural state, are actual epiphytes. So they actually grow on hosts, such as trees, and whatnot, and then they just reach out their roots to wherever they can find, like crevices and bark and whatnot. Um, that's how they soak up their uh, moisture and other mineral nutrients and all that good stuff. But here we have these just growing soil. So I'll, uh, I'll actually um, never, I'll, I don't fertilize my ferns, none of them. Um, I just water them with uh, room temperature water that's been out, left out overnight. I do have a video about that. Um, I'll leave a link somewhere so you can check that out if you want. Um, but yeah, I do. You can mist them. If you do mist any of your ferns, I suggest um, using distilled water, rainwater, or water that you've left out overnight because you definitely want the room temperature water so you can kind of recreate uh, rainwater um, from where your plants naturally come from. And usually you don't want to spray a whole bunch of other chemicals so you could that are, could be found in your water. So yeah, these are my nice, cool bird's nest ferns. Um, check them out if you ever come across one in your local nursery store or your local plant shop or whatever. But yeah, thanks for tuning in.